Okay, but first I'm going to start with red. It doesn't matter which color you start with, as long as you go in the correct order. There's going to be six colors. You'll be painting this. So try to just estimate how big each color should be on the eye. Okay. Take your time and stay inside the lines. Okay. There's red. Now for my next color, don't forget to wash your brush before you switch colors. Next color should be secondary color of orange. Now whenever I paint my orange, I'm going to blend the orange and the red together. So watch closely. I'm going to paint on top of the red, so then it blends together. The red paint is still wet, so that's why I'm able to do that. There you go. So now it looks like it's fading together. So you want to do that so the paints and all the colors look like they're smoothly fading together. And it looks cool whenever it's completed. So everything looks like it's flowing together. Alright, the next color should be the primary color of yellow. Grab some yellow paint. And again, Take the yellow paint and blend it together with the orange okay? so that it looks like it will fade into the yellow. We don't want it to look like there's a line splitting each color up. We want it to look like they're fading together. Okay. Take some more yellow paint. And three colors should take up about half of your color wheel. Okay? So about half of it should be three colors and the other half three colors. That's how you can estimate about how big your colors should be painted. Okay? Next color is green, secondary color. Get some green paint and blend the green paint together with the yellow paint so it looks like it's fading. Nice, smooth transition from yellow to green. And we want to leave the white reflection white. So go around the white area. Stay inside the line. And don't paint in the middle. Leave that area dark with the pencil only. A little bit more green. Stop about here. Go around the white area and stay inside the lines. So be careful and just take your time. Next color is the primary color of blue. Okay. Again, make the blue blend into the green so it looks like it's fading. There we go, that looks nice. Do it again on this side. Blend it together. And a little bit more here and here. It looks nice. Get some more blue. And you don't want to add too much water to your paint. The more water there is, the lighter your color is. So only get as much water as you need. And the very last color, violet secondary color. Okay. Grab some violet paint. A little bit more. And don't forget to blend the violet and the blue together. Blend it together. Okay. A little bit more violet paint. Blend this part. And when you get back to the red, you see how it's like split in half? We don't want that. We want to blend it together. And you get more violet paint and blend the line together so we can't see a line anymore. So everything looks like it is fading together nice and smoothly. And that's 
ます。